My full names are Enes Tumava. I'm the head of section for automotive. And of course, naturally, I'm also a trainer under this department. I have um, a small task. I just need to check up on our track. I'll not be using any other special tools. I'll just be using the onboard diagnostics, meaning here we have an inbuilt scanner, a system which is able to check out the faults, bring them out, and also if there are steps to be taken, they're supposed to be done right here. What I'm doing, I've just put in the key, and that sound we're hearing is telling me that uh, actually I'm being warned to stay packed because there's a brake failure. All that is here is that there's a very low pressure in the system. So I'm going to acknowledge that yes, there's a problem. I've pressed on the button, and there it is warning me that I should stay packed, but the brake pressure is low. Okay. Yeah, so apart from the brake failure, it's also telling me that there is a gearbox failure. Again, the same thing, I also acknowledge. Our gearbox here uses pneumatics, so when there's a problem with um, the pressure of air being too low, you expect that even the gearbox may have those issues. Once that is cleared, then that fault will also, it also, it's also supposed to go away. So there I've acknowledged that warning beep has gone away. But then I'll need to ask for options. So what I'm going to do is flicker this button to scroll down like that. It has given me that there's a track brake failure. Stop vehicle. Of course that symbol is for me to remain packed. That, uh, that is the symbol for it. Again, I'll push the same button again to scroll. Again, the same, there's another failure, it's electrical fault, loss of functionality. Yes, this one we understand because um, there's, um, this, this vehicle has been packed for too long and of course, if it starts running and this charging system is into play, that is supposed to also go away. But again, let me go through, let me scroll and see if there's any other engine system failure, that's general. Again, track brake failure. So we've gone back to the first one. Now, I want to get details about this track brake failure. Is there something I can do about it? So I'll press on this same button. This button is the same as OK. So I press on it. Again, it's still saying engine system failure. OK, let me again try to acknowledge this one. Electrical fault. A loss of functionality, okay, still doing the same thing. Uh, let me go back again and acknowledge. Okay, there it is. The option being given is that I should contact the workshop. Communication with taco, taco graph lost. The taco graph is supposed to print out information about this problem. But then here, it is noticing that I'm an operator. As an operator, I'm supposed to contact the technical people at the workshop. But of course, being a technical person, this is, it's at this stage that I'm supposed to move forward and also pick up even a tech tool and, and plug it in there. That is where we should be able to do many other things like resetting and even clearing some fault codes. So that is the advice I've been given. Let me scroll again. Even for the ABS, you can see on top there, I'm being told that I should contact workshop okay let me try to acknowledge again again the it's the same thing airbag malfunction again contact workshop communication with tachograph lost the advice is the same for all of them okay there i am i've also acknowledged it has given me yet another one this one is critical because this is the reason why i've not been able to run this because the air, I mean the fuel is quite low, so I need to put more fuel. The fuel level too low. Now, you know, in technology, sometimes we try to uh, make things interesting. Of course, if I was to acknowledge, it would just give me the advice of making sure that I add more fuel. But let me scroll again and see. It has taken me back to the other menu. Let me go back to the last one. Here, I can also acknowledge this one. It has given me yet another one, retarder malfunction. 
Now one thing you notice about most of these, they are all, they are all connected to the fact that our air pressure is too low. So we have all those ports coming up, which when we run the engine and of course the compressor is up and running, most of them may, may be cleared and also we may also need to ensure that those ports codes are cleared.